First off, I want to thank Outpost76 for the video idea. He did the exact same video. I'm going to link his down into the description. Let's get to our video. Bang, Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and today we are talking about my top five favorite knife steels. Now, just to make it clear, I love all steels. I, I just, I do. I get into sharpening, um, and pocket knife steel or knife steel is something that I just love, period. All steels. Um, and I'm not a metallurgist or nothing, and <laughs> let me just be clear. I know literally nothing compared to a lot of people in this community, but I'm trying. I am doing my best, and at this point, you know, I think I've learned quite a bit um, for myself, you know, not maybe compared to other people, but, you know, I'm doing what I can, and starting this list off that's not actually on the list is Maximet. So this is kind of just uh, honorable mention because I don't own any Maximet, but it would totally be on the list if I did. This knife is not mine. I've sharpened it. I've used it. I've tested it. Um, you know, Maximet. And I love it. I love the steel a lot. It seems like it just takes any edge you want to put on it. It lasts a long time. And it's definitely a user steel. It's not a steel you want to be tough on, like meaning uh, smacking things and prying things. But if you are a cutter, you know, a straight, um, you know, user for cutting performance and you like cutting performance and you like a steel that lasts a long time, Maximet is great. And in my opinion, it's so easy to sharpen. I know a lot of people have trouble sharpening it, but man, uh, if, as long as you're using the right stones, I have no issue sharpening it. I enjoy sharpening Maximet and the edges it gets is insane. So next Vanax, another honorable mention. I, I love the steel a lot. I've only dealt with it less than a handful of times though. So I can't really put it on the list since I've, you know, I just don't have enough experience with it. Now, I love it a lot. I like it a lot. I like the fact that it's so corrosion resistant, so you don't really have to worry about it, you know, rusting or, you know, getting corrosion. And it does take a really good edge. It lasts a long time and I like it a lot, but I just have, you know, only dealt with it like three times. So next is one that I don't have any, um, here or any i don't have any <laughs> but i have experienced it i've tested it i've sharpened it is crew wear crew wear would be on my list if i had some i don't own any i want to but i can't put it on the list because i don't own any even though i have sharpened it and i love it so much but can't put it on the list 20 cv so 20 cv is a steel i like quite a bit when it's done right. I have so much M390 and 20 CV that it should be on this list. It really should be just because I have so much of it. I mean, I don't know what steel I have the most of, but M390 is probably the steel I have the most of. Companies have just been pouring out with 20 CV, M390, and I do like it, especially when it's done right. Now, like hinders Hinders, in my opinion, has ran a little soft. I'm not saying it's bad. You know, it's still okay, but it's, it is ran a little soft in my opinion. Now, Shuro's, I, man, I was really impressed with Shuro Goroff's M390. I have two of them, um, and TRM's, I've had a few of them and I, you know, I was impressed with their 20 CV, but since it's kind of like hit or miss. I'm not going to put it on my top five, even though I do love it. Love it, love it, love it so much when it is done right. It takes a really good edge. It lasts a long time. And, you know, in this day and age, there's so many companies doing M390 and 20CV that, you know, you can, you're getting it for a great price these days, but you just don't know if it's done right until you get it. So... Let's start this list off with 14C28N. It is my favorite budget steel. It's another steel I have a ton of. I have a ton of 14C28N, and I love it a lot. I do. I like it a lot for a lot of reasons. One reason is it's pretty much good no matter what company you get, get it from. 
it's easy to heat treat. So the companies you do a great job on it, regardless of the company you get it from. And Civivi's 14C28N, I've been very impressed with. Now, I heard, and I don't know how true it is, but I've heard that they're heat treating their 14C between 61 and 63. If that's true, and that's an if, if it's true, I think that might, uh, you know, show show us the possibilities of where 14c can go or the potential i should say the potential 14c can have now i've been impressed with it um sharpening it and using it i was very impressed with it so i'm really really hoping that it is i would love to see a tester a cut tester do a cut test with with uh, civivi's 14c 28n but regardless it seems like most companies 14C28N is done good, um, especially even for the price because you can get it for such a great value and it sharpens up really good. It takes a really good edge and it's easy to sharpen. It's very easy to sharpen and it lasts a good while, especially for the price. It's nice and stainless. It's tough. It's a tough steel. So yeah, I love me some 14C28N and I'm... I'm really hoping that uh, Civivi's is heat treated to that HRC because I would love to see the potential that 14C can have after, you know, a, a good cut test is done on it. S30V. I love me some S30V. Now, let me be clear. Uh, I like it more than S35VN. Now, S35VN, the reason why I like S30V more than S35VN is, well, there's a few reasons. And I'm looking for some other. I, I've had so much S30V too. I've got a ton of S30V. I mean, I probably got just as much S30V as S35VN. I've dealt with it so, so much that I know. For sure, I like it more than S35. One reason is, in my opinion, I think it holds a better holds a better edge for longer. So I think it lasts longer in cutting, and I think it takes a better edge. I think it's um, it takes a better polish because, in my opinion, sharpening. I've sharpened so much S35VN, and sometimes S35VN takes a good polish, but majority of the time it falls off once you hit a certain grit. It's like once you're going up your stones, you get to a certain grit and it's like it loses all the bite that you want in a good mirror polished edge. Now, I'm not saying mirror polished edges are the best edges. I'm not, and Me personally, my favorite edge is probably 600 grit. I love a 600 grit edge, but I also like the choice. Some knives, I, I would like to have a nice mirror polished edge on. And sometimes, you know, I like a toothy edge, but I like the choices of being able to have whichever edge I choose to have it on. And in my experience, S30V does that. Um, I like sharpening it. I think it sharpens up good. I think it holds a good edge. I think it does good with a toothy edge or a mirror polished edge. And yeah, I like it a lot. And that's just the one thing or one of the reasons why I like it more than S35VN. And like I said, and also, in my opinion, it holds a better edge. And uh, there's so much of it, right? There's so many companies using S30V, or at least they were. So th there's a, a lot of S30V out there, even more S35VN. Next S90V. I like me some S90V. It's nice and stainless. Takes a stupid sharp edge. And it holds it for a long, long time. Now, this one's not mine, the whole Taptic, but it is an S90V. Um, I have some of my S90V loaned out right now. Um, and then this is the Benchmade 940 in S90V. But, yeah, it takes an incredible edge. It lasts a forever. And I also find that it's pretty easy to strop back and hone back. And most of the steels on this list are, are that way. But yeah, I just really like S9EV. I would like to get some more knives in it. I, I don't believe I have enough in it. 
Uh, but I've dealt with it a lot, and I do have a few, or a couple at least. Now, between this steel and the next steel, I don't know which one I like more. But the next steel on my list is M4. Oh, man, I love some M4. I think M4 is great. Uh, it's another steel that, in my opinion, it takes such a good edge. And it's... And, and remember, this is all my opinion, but I think it sharpens up easily. I think it's easy to sharpen, and it just it feels really good on the stone, and it lasts such a good long time. Now, the problem with it is that it's not very corrosion resistant. It will it will show rust spots and corrode. I don't really have that issue because of where I live. I just keep it dry, keep it oiled, and I don't really have an issue with it. I have not had an issue with it yet, but I do know that that is an issue. So I just take care of it. Uh, but, you know, I don't know which one I like more between the S90V and the M4, but I know I like them both. Now, S90V is not going to corrode, is, uh, you know, like M4, but, I, you know, like I said, I don't have the issue, so... Now, number one on my list is coming right up, but before that, I just want to shout out CTSXHP. I have a bunch of it. I like it. I like it a lot. It takes a great edge, and uh, and yeah, I just wanted to shout out CTSXHP really quick. Great, great steel. Now, like I said, I like all steels. I like them all. All of them. I like the OS 10s, the N690s, the, the S35VNs, the everything. I love them all. I love them all, but K390 is my number one. Why is it my number one? Well, there's a couple reasons why. One, when I first experienced K390, the second I hit the stone, I knew there was something to it right away. As soon and when you experience a lot of steels and you've sharpened a lot of steels, you you start really understanding the feeling of how they feel on the stone, how they sharpen, what sharpens good, what's easy to sharpen, so on and so forth. And as soon as I hit the stone, I knew there was something to it. I loved it. And I I tested it with a toothy edge, a polished edge, um, and both of them did extremely, extremely well. Polishing it, it takes such a nasty, sharp, polished edge. Even with the toothy edge, same Thing. It takes a very aggressive toothy edge. And I, I find it easy to sharpen. I enjoy sharpening it. And it lasts so long. Now, this knife is not mine. This has uh, this one's Talica's. It's in for sharpening. It has a regrind on it. And it's super thin behind the edge. But man, is it sharp. Um, after sharpening it, I mean, this thing is stupid sharp. And that just, you know... It, it just they, it sharpens up so good, but it lasts so long. It's like it just it seems like it never stops going and dropping it and bringing it back. That's not hard. It drops back good. It hones back good. I feel like I can keep it going for a long time. So even after using it and it's say it seems like it's starting to go dull, I can hone it or strop it back very easily and keep it going for even longer. So yeah, it isn't, it isn't corrosion resistant. You do have to take care of it. It is another steel that can rust on you, but as long as you oil it, take care of it like this one is hasn't shown anything yet but i keep it dry you know and when I, if it does get wet or anything like that i just dry it off and i re-oil it it seems to be doing fine but yeah k390 is definitely my number one the one problem with it is there's not a lot of companies using it you don't see very many companies using it and i would love to see more companies start using it i would love to see it replace some steels but you know, that's just wishful thinking. But either way, it is still my number one at the moment. Now, like I said, some of those other steels, you know, would be on this list and replace some of the other not steels on this list if I had them. But I don't. I love you guys. Outpost 76. Thanks for the video idea. Peace.